All right, this is part two to the Flow Lab series. Next, I want you to create an animation for your sprite. Animation means movement. So now we're going to make it look like it's walking. So it's you go over to your left with the two blue squares. And next, you're going to click Pick Animation, Create New. I'm going to rename this one Walk. So next we want to, right now we just have a single frame, so we need to add a new frame. I'm going to hit the plus sign. But now I need to go ahead and add from the browse category, because right now there's just two cats standing still. So I hit browse, select category, characters, and now I want to go ahead and add the next frame that will make the cat go up. So I hit the plus sign again. And now I want to do the last one. You can test it out by pressing play. Oh, looks good. You can also make it go faster or slower. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that on three. I like the way that looks. If you wanted to add different colors for the last one, or for the first one you can do so, but once you're happy with it, click OK. Now we need to be able to tell it when to use that animation. So you click on the behaviors, and then I want you to click on the animation op uh, uh, option. So click on properties, Then click Animation. As you can see, your animation is named. So go ahead and click on it. And then click on Loop Animation. That way it'll go continuously. Uh, actually, go ahead and delete this animation. And we have to do it within the run and jump. So go ahead and click on that and hit Delete. And then on the run and jump preset, go ahead and double click on that. And this is what that looks like. So you have the keyboard. Whenever the keyboard is pushed down to the left, it goes minus six, kind of like a math grid on the X and Y axis. And when the right keyboard is pressed, it'll go to the right. This is the speed. All right. And this is the flip option that lets them go back and forth. Velocity. Then you have the jump and how high. So we want to make a animation. So we go to properties, animation. Going to go ahead and click on that animation. Move this back a little if we can. There we go. And you can just click off on the screen to move it around to so get you some space. So I'm going to go ahead and do animation here. So we want to tell the animation that whenever the left and right trigger, so whenever the left trigger is pushed down, it will start. Whenever the left trigger, left key is up, which means not pressed, the animation will stop. So whenever the right key is pushed down, the animation will start. Whenever the key is up, which means not pushed down, the animation will stop. Try that again. There we go. All right, and we're going to hit the play button to see if it works. Hit the play button to see if it works. Sorry, my recording button's in the way. There we go. All right, so left and right all right so you see if it's working when you move to your left your uh, object should look to the left so i'm pressing left it looks to the left to the right and what i really liked about this view is you can see the different uh, switches line uh, light up when you're using it so left you see which one is my left button is using it's these up here my right buttons it's these right here okay my jump buttons it's these right here so i thought that was cool I'm going to go ahead and hit stop to go back to the editor. If I can, I'm just going to hit escape. 
Sorry, my. My uh, recording is in the way. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. There you go. OK, the next thing I want you to do is to finish your, like, just just real quick, finish, like, what would look like a uh, a map, like a beginning map. So I'm just going to take a quick minute, and you can press pause, um, or you can watch me do it. Um, and I'm just going to create a bunch of different... Uh, uh, options for me on my stage. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this go up a little higher. So I'm going to go hit clone and I'm just going to make that go higher. And that's okay if that's above the blue thing because this is your scrolling screen. The rest doesn't need to be filled in with the blue. This is what the uh, the uh, the computer player will, will see. So this blue will actually go up and down and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about later. So I'm just going to cut that off here and I just want to make sure that my player doesn't go out of bounds that's all right I've got a lot of land to work with you don't have to make yours as big I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off right there. Oh, that was close. Again, I'm just hovering over hitting the, the delete button to get away, uh, to get rid of what I don't want. Okay, so now I'm moving that back over. And I can fill it in with the same type of cat uh, 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 sprites or I can go ahead and click create edit sprite and I'm going to go to browse select category I'm going to go ahead and do some you can do blocks or objects just going to go ahead and go back to blocks real quick and let's see here I got some some logs sure we're going to go ahead and do that hit OK and I'm going to go ahead and add some logs somewhere. Let's see here. Hit clone. Now I can add logs wherever. So I'm, I'm not really focused on making this the uh, prettiest right now. I just want to show you how to go ahead and add some things. Um, and you'll, when you're, when you get the, uh, the basics down, then you'll go ahead and really focus on how your world looks but right now uh, for today's purposes I'm just going to uh, throw some things everywhere okay so let's say that this I was happy with this which I'm not but just for today I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm done creating you know the beginning part of my land okay next we want to create a scrolling camera so a camera that follows our character so I click on the character sprite click edit and then go to behaviors now I want to go ahead and I'm just gonna click on that again double click on that to open that up and now I want to go to components Then I want to go to camera. So now that my camera's here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the camera. So auto scroll is already there, but I want to make that go a little bit bigger. So if you can see, it's kind of hard to see through this. I have a box that's through that. I need to make this. Here we go. You can see the lines over here. I want to make that as long as my world is by clicking on the right and again you should be able to see that square here you want to make that go as long and as high so I'm going to go ahead and click that's good and now the top you see how it's cut off here I need to go higher so I'm going to go ahead and click the top oh, something's not right there we go click negative and now it's going up so I'm going to go ahead and click OK and hit OK. 
I'm going to hit the play button to go ahead and check it out. And now it's scrolling, see? So now you have a camera that follows your character wherever you are. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the editing game. Okay, so now we need to make dangerous obstacles for our character. So in Doggy Diamond, I made the, uh, the spikes. So you can choose whatever you want to be for your dangerous uh, uh, item. So I'm going to go click anywhere in the box, click Create, click Edit Sprite. Once again, I'm going to go to Browse, select Category, and I'm going to go see if there's some cool objects here that can be... Um, let's see here. I've got, I've got some diamonds. I click Diamonds or Hearts. That's usually a good one. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to stick with the spikes. I can change the colors. Maybe these want to be, these are more flames than, again, you don't have to change the colors. I'm just giving you something different to show you. All right, hit OK. Hit OK. So now I want to move that and I can just place these wherever. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and get that there, hit clone. And now I can place these wherever I want, right? So I'd hit done cloning to move it over. Hit click on again, click clone. So I'm just going to do a couple of these real quick. Just so that you can see, you know, uh, you know, like I would put it throughout the rest. So, but I'm 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 good for right now. Uh, one more thing, go ahead and click on it, and then click edit, and make sure you're renaming it. Okay, so I'm just gonna click fire. That way, I can refer back to it because we're gonna need to make the behavior for our character. Uh, um, so whenever it touches the fire, it'll lose energy. Okay, so this will be the end of part two. I want you to watch one more video, part three. Um, for how to control the character and how to make these different sprites interactive.